Brenda Quintana coming to you from the Beehive at QBsQuest.com. It's Minute Monday time again, and today I'm going to show you how to make these Christmas note cards using the Hearts Come Home bundle. This bundle consists of the Hearts Come Home stamp set and the Hometown Greetings edgelets. And I've made three different cards using the three main dies from this edgelet set. So here are the cards. This is the first one with the church. Here's another one using the big houses. And finally, here's the one using the little houses. Each one of these cards is really cute and each one of them uses a slightly different measurement for the bottom. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make them. To start off with, you're going to need your Big Shot, and I'm using my magnetic platform here. I've got one of the cutting plates already sitting on the top, and I'm going to grab my first piece of cardstock, and I've cut this piece to 5 inches by 3 and 1 8 inches. Then I'm going to take this edgelet with the church on it, and I'm going to place it so that the cross of the church hits the top of this piece of cardstock. On the first card I made, I had this piece centered from side to side, and my son said that he thought it should be a little bit more centered. So to create a more centered piece, I'm actually going to bring the right side right over so it touches the edge right here. Now that I've got it aligned properly, I'm going to put the second cutting plate on top, and I'm going to run it through the big shot. Since this is an intricate die, I'm going to run it back through the big shot a second time. Then I'm just going to remove this piece for a moment and I'm going to cut my other pieces. For the bigger of the two houses edgelets, I'm going to need another piece of Knight of Navy cardstock and I've cut this piece to 5 inches by 2 and 1 8 inches. I'm just going to put that on my big shot. I'm going to take my edgelet piece and I'm going to make sure it is centered from side to side. I'm just going to make sure the top of this house touches the edge of the cardstock right here. Then I'm going to take my second cutting plate, put it on top, and I'm going to run this through once and then back through a second time. And again, I'm just going to lift this piece up and set it aside for a moment. Then I'm going to take one more piece of Knight of Navy cardstock, and this one I've cut to 5 inches by 1 and 3 quarter inches. This last one, I'm going to take these little houses, and I'm going to align them on here. And I'm going to make sure this is centered from side to side, and then this little top house right here, its roof is going to rest against the edge of the cardstock. So you can kind of see that there's a slope kind of running down this way. Then I'm going to take my second cutting plate, put it on top, and run it through once and then twice. And I'm going to grab this piece and set it aside. So now I've got these three different pieces that I've cut out. So let me grab this first one and I'm just going to remove this from the cardstock. And you'll see some of these little pieces are already starting to fall out. You can take your Big Shot die brush and just gently run it over those little windows. Be careful not to hit it too hard. If some of these pieces don't come out, then it's time to take your paper piercing tool and do a few quick pokes. I'd rather you do that than to mess up your cardstock by pressing too hard. And they should come out fairly easy like that. Then we're going to do the same thing for the other two pieces. So I'm just removing my edgelet and then I'm just going to come over here and I'm just going to Hit this with my Big Shot die brush. Just remember to go gently. And most of the pieces have come out there. I'll do my final one right now. And again, I'm just going to hit those little house pieces. Okay. And so now all the little pieces are removed. 
So now we just need to cut this top piece away from the bottom edge. So to do this, you can see it's already kind of coming away at the side. So I'm just going to cut this and this part will come away. I'm going to come to the other side and I'm just going to continue this line right along the side here like that. And there's the piece I've just cut away. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the bigger of the two houses pieces. I'm just going to kind of cut along here and then have this kind of come away. The top's going to come away. I'm going to come over to the other side and I'm going to cut that away too. So that's the piece you're left with. And now finally I'm just going to come and do the houses and just kind of remove the top and then I'm going to cut away from this side. So now we have our edge pieces all ready to go for the card. Now to create this little moon shape, you're going to need some gold glimmer paper and you're going to need the three quarter inch circle punch and the one inch circle punch. I'm going to start off with the three quarter circle inch punch and I'm going to punch a circle just pretty close to the edge of this gold glimmer paper. That little circle we won't need anymore. Then I'm going to take my one inch circle punch and I'm going to come over the top and I'm going to create a crescent moon. So just have a look and see how you think it looks good and when you like how it, that shape looks then you're going to punch it through. And so this is the little crescent moon shape that you make. Then you're going to need some Whisper White note cards and envelopes and I'm just going to pull one of these note cards out. They are already pre-scored in the middle so all you have to do is fold it along that score line and then take your bone folder and smooth down that fold. So then I'm going to take this church piece and I'm going to bring it in and I'm just going to rest it on the bottom. I'm not going to glue it down yet just in case I make a mistake stamping. That way I can still use this die cut on a different card. I'm going to take my Knight of Navy ink pad, open it up, and for this card I'm going to just use the greeting Merry and Bright from the Hearts Come Home stamp set. I'm just going to ink it up and I'm going to stamp it right above this little house right here like that. And that looks pretty good. So now I can go ahead and glue on this bottom strip. So I'm going to take some Tombow glue to do that. And I'm just going to run some glue along the bottom, a little bit on the tree, a little bit on the top of the roof of the church, in the middle, the roof of the house, maybe the corner of the house, and the tree. And then I'm going to come down here and line it up with the bottom of the card. These cards are just really simple but they're beautiful and simple. And then we're going to take one of these moons that I already punched and I'm going to put a little bit of Tombow on it. I love the way this moon is kind of gold and it just shines, just adds like a little bit, little hint of shine to the card. And there you go, the first card's all made. So to create these other two, you basically do the same thing for both of them. So I'll just show you how to do one. Again, you're going to take a Whisper White note card and fold it along the score line and then use your bone folder to smooth down that fold. Then you're going to take your die cut and I'm just going to flip it around just a little bit so that the top of the hill is on the right side rather than on the left side. I'm going to align that and then I'm going to take the moon that I created and just lay it down here so I can get a sense of where to stamp this little Santa and the reindeer. So again I'm going to take my Knight of Navy ink pad. I'm going to ink up this little Santa right here and then I'm going to stamp it just kind of going up into the sky away from the moon like that. So now I can glue this piece onto my card. Take some of that along the bottom. Take a little bit and put it at the top of the house. 
I'm also going to put a little bit, just a wee bit on the top of the house so that it stays down. Some on the tree, some on the edge of the top of the house. And then I can take this and glue it right to the bottom edge of the card. And then I'm just going to make sure those houses stick down nicely. And then I'm going to take my little moon and add that in as well. So there you go, three simple but elegant Christmas note cards. All the supplies you'll need to make these pretty little note cards are available for purchase on my blog. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, be sure to check out all the free with purchase tutorials available on my blog. The Hershey Santa tutorial is just one of the exclusive tutorials that you can choose free with a minimum purchase in my Stampin' Up! store. Hi, it's Brenda again. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also visit my blog for more information on my projects and to learn about my rewards program, or just watch another one of my videos. Thanks for watching.